Hi, everyone. Good Wednesday evening to you. It is 21 News Chief Meteorologist Eric Wilhelm here. It's weather for weather geeks. This is the Mahoning and Shenango Valley's most in-depth weather forecast video. If you're watching from outside of my television viewing area, welcome. Uh, we cover weather in this video every day for eastern Ohio, western PA, but we broaden our scope and take a look at uh, the nation as a whole sometimes. We talk about all sorts of sciencey things, including astronomy in this video, but we're going to focus on just weather this evening, and we're going to do a little review of winter on May the 3rd. And we're doing this because we're closing the book on the snow for the season. Uh, we had our last trace of snow at the Youngstown Warren Airport early this morning, and that should be it for the season. Uh, we finished the season with a paltry 22.8 inches worth of snow. That is about a third of how much snow we typically see during the season around here. Uh, the only uh, season that had less snow uh, that we have reliable records for, 1936-37 uh, with 19. And the only other year on this, a couple years on this list that are relatively recent, you have to go back to the 90s, 90, 91, and 94, 95. Uh, somewhat surprisingly, number 10, 78, 79. That was a very cold winter, but it was not particularly snowy. Those winters in the 70s, remarkably cold from 76 through 79. <clears throat> But the snow amounts outside of uh, some big storms like the blizzard of 78, for example, um, were not tremendous <coughs> in our part of the country. All right, so we, we shared in this lack of snowfall, of course, all of, of Ohio and just about all of Pennsylvania below the average in terms of snow for the uh, season. In fact, we can take a look at some numbers. Again, the number at the Youngstown Warren Airport, uh, 22, almost 23 inches. Uh, Pittsburgh had less than 20 inches. Akron, Canton, uh, over along the Stark Summit County line, 21.3. Uh, Cuyahoga Airport, uh, which is southwest of downtown Cleveland. It's not in the snow belt. Uh, so, uh, uh, or Hopkins Airport, I should say, up in Cuyahoga County, 22.7. Now, of course, east of there, as you get into the snow belt, amounts were higher, including up in Erie, PA, 52. But for Erie, PA, that's way behind average. Only Buffalo, New York um, came in above the average in the region. That's because of Mondo Lake effect very early in the season, back in December. Buffalo probably finishes with about 133 and a half inches worth of snow, uh, most of that occurring fairly early in the season. Well, speaking of snow, we talked about on this video some last evening some of the observations in the, in the UP, the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. Um, crazy snow amounts, but actually they got even crazier uh, now that uh, all is said and done. Uh, we're going to see a total here from a, a, a co-op observer station uh, near uh, Herman, um, which is west of Marquette, Michigan. 48 inches worth of snow um, for a storm total, and this outside of the Rocky Mountains. So non-mountainous areas, this will be the biggest snow event in May in U.S. history. Um, for, for again, for areas that are not way up in the mountains. Back here at home. All right, it is not a great evening. <laughs> it is cold. It is lightly raining in most spots, or a lot of spots anyway. And we'll hang on to that chance for a shower or a little bit of drizzle for the rest of the evening, even in the parts of the overnight. All right, the, the culprit for this week's clammy, damp weather, of course, an upper level low pressure system, which has been pinwheeling around the eastern Great Lakes. Now, within that pinwheel, there are spokes, like spokes on a bicycle wheel, uh, of what we call vorticity, or spin, that rotate through, that causes uplift in the atmosphere, and you get new bands of showers cropping up. If this were the dead of winter, we'd see some big-time lake effect snow totals even into Ohio and PA, not just up in, in Michigan. Um, but it is not January, of course, and so most of this has just been a cold, miserable rain, but things are about to change as this upper low will finally get the boot. Again, a few drippy raindrops out there this evening. Maybe even past midnight, there could be a touch of rain or some drizzle. As we head out the door tomorrow morning, aside from a sprinkle, we should be dry. And actually, Thursday is going to be our transitional day to better things. Now, it's not going to be a great day. It's not going to be bright and sunny. It's not going to be very warm, but it's going to be better. Instead of the 40s, we'll be in the 50s. Um, Thursday afternoon, sprinkle or a shower a possibility in the afternoon. The sky will then finally clear leading to perhaps some frost Friday morning. Uh, I don't think this is a widespread thing, but with temperatures around 34 to 36 on average, could there be some frost here and there Friday morning? Yes. I don't think it'll be uh, a big frost event, if you will, and it's going to be our last one of the season. So once we're done with Friday morning, uh, we're all set to go, I think, for the growing season, so you can go ahead and plant that garden. Uh, maybe this weekend with great weather ahead. Showers stay off to our north on Friday, and we are expecting a good deal of sunshine into the upcoming weekend. Now, we do have some rain chances to talk about in the longer range as we get into next week. Now, there's not model agreement 
uh, as far as the details on this. Uh, but we may see an increase in clouds by the end of the day Sunday, leading to a chance for some showers as early as Monday and perhaps into Tuesday. But we're not going to take this to the bank. We're going to keep rain chances pretty low right now because the confidence on how things progress early next week with some disturbances in the atmosphere coming through, that confidence is pretty low. Higher confidence that it's going to be much, much warmer than it has been. Now, this is not the kind of pattern over the next couple of weeks that we're going to see a bunch of mid-80s like we did back in April. It's not that kind of pattern. Um, but it will certainly be a more hospitable pattern compared to where we've been during this week. So things are about to turn around. Hang in there. A chilly day Thursday, but 50s better than 40s, 60s by Friday, and yes, we're going to see 70 by the end of the weekend. Thanks for watching tonight's Weather for Weather Geeks. Let's do it again, same time, same place, on Thursday.